Well, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, <laughs> been a long time since I have been over here on this channel, so um, wanted to kind of go ahead and give some updates and just some just some other things here as well. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I'll tell you, time tends to fly by though. It's like next thing you know, two or three months have flown by, and you just don't realize it. You know, I will say this, I am definitely more active over on my RC channel, so um, if you venture over to Perky Plains and RC, uh, I'm usually putting out stuff about once a week over there, um, kind of depending on how things are going. Uh, over here, of course, has been kind of kind of a mess, really, um, and, and actually we've had a lot of personal stuff going on here at the house and just some various other things going on, so it really has been not not what I would consider to be ideal for um, kind of keeping this channel up and going, plus a lot of changes and so forth. But I felt that since um, since things were kind of progressing relatively slow, and since I've, you know, along with taking care of, you know, any kind of little personal things, I, I kind of felt too that, hey, I'm going to start diving into, some, diving into some things here and introducing some things here on the channel that... Um, you all probably don't know about me uh, and kind of a new, uh, a new interest, a new avenue uh, to kind of explore with me and uh, check things out and everything. So I'm talking about the wonderful world of Linux. Um, uh, basically, uh, to summarize this, I'm a computer geek. Uh, aside from doing music and, and RC stuff and, and being a daddy and all that kind of thing, I'm also a computer geek. And have been since, um, well, I was born in 1980, so uh, I've seen a lot of growth with technology and computers uh, over the years. Where do we go from here? What is Linux? What is the Linux, what is the Linux system? What is, what is this thing I'm talking about? Well, um, uh, there, there's really so much involved with Linux that, I, I mean, I think I could be here for days just talking about what it is and... And, and all this kind of stuff. And so I'm going to try to, um, since this is kind of my first video on the topic, I'm just going to try to keep this as, as relatively as concise and, and, and you know, uh, less detailed as possible. <clears throat> and just kind of give you the important points. And if you guys want to know more about it, I will gladly provide links. I will provide um, additional videos. So of course, there'll be more videos coming uh, as well with Linux stuff. Um, but I'll provide links or, or, or any answers to your comments or anything like that. So, um, but basically, um, Linux is really, it's just, a, it's a whole other system. In the computing PC world, you commonly see um, Microsoft, Microsoft Windows, and Mac and Apple, pretty much, right? Uh, now, of course, there's been some there's been some changes over the years with, with how, how things have went with that. For example, uh uh, Chromebooks kind of have their own thing, and that's actually stepping into Linux a little bit. So, uh, for a long time there, um, you know, it was Microsoft Windows um, and your Apple, your Mac, you know, that kind of thing. And then you had kind of had Linux kind of just in the middle of everything. So Linux was this whole other system, and I'm sure some of the uh, Linux people out there are going to probably not care for my terminology that I'm using because it may not be 100% correct, but that's okay. So um, basically, uh, Linux has just been pretty much been this whole other system out there that uh, just kind of floating along and uh, welcomes anybody who was wanting to use it. <clears throat> so um, in, in, a, in a general sense, Linux itself was a, um, it, was, it was actually just a kernel the, the core part of the operating system that was developed by um, a Finnish programmer, Linus Torvalds, back in the early 90s. And um, he kind of got with some other hardcore um, programmers and stuff, and they kind of worked on this sort of system around his kernel and created this, this um, essentially just this whole operating system, if you want to call it that. Um, into what we know as Linux today. Now, Linux um, comes in a lot of different um, variations, a lot of flavors or distributions, as they call it, um, to use for PCs. So, you know, if you look up Linux and look up Linux distributions or Linux distro for short, um, you're going to come across probably hundreds of different 
variations of it. And essentially what it is, is you're getting the Linux, Linux kernel, which is like I said, the core part of the system. And then you're getting all these applications and everything else built on top of it. And each one is entirely different in its own. I mean, there's, there's obviously some major similarities, but it seems like each one just has its own little twist, its own little changes, uh, its own little um, uh, software that includes with it everything. It's, it's like a, the, the distribution is like its own operating system, if you want to call it that, its own, its own entity. And, and before I forget, Linux itself and this whole, um, these all these systems, all the source code for these systems is completely free and available to you. So if you're into programming or just, or just want to try and tinker and, and experiment and you're kind of a hobbyist and you want to learn about it, you can actually look at the source code and, you know, do what you want with it. You can uh, modify it. You can make your own version if you want to. Um, you can, you know, you're really free to sort of, you know, do a lot of things with the system itself. So um, you can't do that with Microsoft Windows and you cannot do that with, um, you know, Apple. So, um, and, and then that's one of the, the cool things about Linux is that it's, it's really kind of allowed a lot of freedom to sort of, you know, cause the, the, the overall system itself to really grow and, and expand in so many different directions. And that's why you have all these different distributions and things like that. So, so in, in the computing world, outside of laptops and desktops, what this means is that it, Linux has sort of found its way into smartphones in the Android system. Uh, it has found its way into you know, tablets with Android. It's found its way into um, the Amazon products, Amazon Kindle Fire, Amazon Fire Stick. All those have a have basically a, a Linux um, you know, core to it There's, um, that runs the kernel and it has its own applications and things built on top of it. You get the picture. So, um, you know, Linux has really kind of grown from the 90s. It used to be it was just desktops, laptops, and just whatever else you wanted to try to put Linux on if you were willing to do it. <clears throat> and so nowadays we have all these smart devices and small all these smaller devices, such as smartphones and, and tablets, that kind of run their own version of this system itself. Uh, I have been dabbling with Linux uh, since the early 2000s um, in terms of desktop laptop usage. I have played around with Red Hat. I've played around with Fedora. These are all different distributions. Uh, Slackware, uh, Mandrake in the early days, and I think it later became Mandriva, and I think it's something completely different now. I haven't really kept track of, of all those. Maybe a little bit with SUSE. Um, I have also uh, played around with the uh, Puppy Linux distribution. Um, and so really I've kind of dabbled with a lot of different ones. And, there are, and um, it's been a learning experience along the way. Now, um, one thing about Linux, of course, is that it is based. It, it tends to have a basis around the Unix operating system, <clears throat> which is actually more of a... You can kind of think of think of it like an early server kind of setup. A lot of the old servers and stuff, mainframes used to use that kind of a system because it was very stable. Um, and you know, compared to Microsoft Windows and 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 so on, it's 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 a little more complicated. Very command line driven. There's not really any pretty uh, graphics or anything to look at. It is basically blocks of text that you have to kind of make sense of. Uh, you can kind of think of the matrix if you want to, you know, look at it like that. That's kind of Linux in a nutshell, and that's, uh, you know, at least kind of my experiences with it. Um, I've pretty much have been consistently messing around with it and, and using it since the early 2000s. Um, I really, um, and I, I used it more or less as a, as a home server is kind of what I've done. I've used it more as a home server, and I'll have some more information on that as well with, in future videos. Um, and I, I've only kind of dabbled with it here and there at, in terms of in terms of a desktop replacement or desktop use. And I will say this: the lot of the current distributions now, you can they they work so well nowadays that the technology has moved so fast that you can install a a Linux distribution and a newer one, put it on um, any kind of you know relatively newer computer, um, relatively newer computer hardware. And you will get the type of almost, I mean, I, I would almost say it's very close to the same kind of functionality 
and the ease of use that you would get possibly out of even a Microsoft Windows environment. So if you're used to Microsoft Windows, there are some Linux distributions systems out there that function almost just as easily as Microsoft Windows. So the transition from someone using Windows to Lint and going to Linux, you know, that transition is not that difficult. So and I, I, I'm I'm kind of been dying, so I've been kind of diving back into using Linux as a as a desktop a little bit and trying to play around with it some more and just kind of see where things have went. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, I'm fixing up an old laptop here of my wife's. Uh, this was a very early, early laptop, a very early laptop of hers. This thing is probably a good, I don't know, six or seven years old, I would guess. Um, it was a, it's a quad core processor. It used to run, uh, used to run Windows 7, uh, home edition. Let me go ahead and boot it up here and log in and show you guys what it looks like. Um, so you all can see that. And actually, you know, despite the age of the system, it actually runs pretty well. Um, sometimes you have to kind of pick out a distribution that'll work well on computers that are just a little bit older than what's out there now. So, but I'm, I've been pretty pleased with this and I think it came out pretty good. But again, this is something new I'm bringing to the channel. I hope you guys, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy kind of seeing this other crazy part of, uh, of who I am and what I do and things that I do. And, um, you know, um, it, it may introduce you to Linux and, and let you kind of see what it's like. You may make the transition yourself. Um, <clears throat> um, or maybe um, just want to learn more about it. Or um, if you're uh, if you stumble upon this video looking for Linux stuff, then you probably know a lot of stuff I've already talked about. So, but for those that don't, you know, this is just kind of like my little introduction. I'll I'll, I'll be featuring more videos, more little probably Linux vlogs, so to speak, um, on my progress with with using Linux um, in my day to day life. Is that adorable little baby? That is my daughter Sadie. Okay, guys, this is my wife's old laptop, like I said, an old Samsung laptop. Um, I apologize for the uh, horrible refreshing flashing it's doing there, but we'll, we'll keep this brief. Um, but anyways, this is Linux Mint, uh, the cinnamon version. So just kind of give you an idea here what it kind of looks like. What, you're, what you see, it does, look, it does kind of remind you a lot of, um, you know, a lot of Windows. And just basic desktop usage, browsing the internet, stuff like that is really no different on Linux. <clears throat> I've already configured my wireless, so it automatically connects to the home wireless. But um, just to give you guys an idea here, this really functions no differently than if I were, um, you know, if I were using Windows. So here I've even got a shortcut to YouTube and all that good stuff. So... How cool is that? Not even, not even Microsoft. Not even using Microsoft on this computer. So, and there's really a lot more I could show you, but um, you know, at least for right now, I just wanted to kind of give you all a little bit of an introduction. Uh, just kind of give you all a little bit of an introduction to what I'm going to be introducing here on the channel. So, uh, again. Um, you know, if you've got interest in this, feel free to ask me any questions on it. Or um, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe, and I'll be featuring some more Linux videos as as time goes on. And like I said, sharing my experiences. Uh, I do. I will say this: I do have some major Linux projects kind of on down the road coming up, so I'll be sharing some of those and sharing my experience uh, with those as well. So uh, I hope you guys would tune in for that or check those out once I get them once I get them up and going and. Um, and all that good stuff. So, but anyways, that's all from me. And we will see you in the next video.